Hello, Tori, and welcome back from the holiday. Well, even though the holiday is technically over, the Tauruses are still nesting and resting starting today. That's because the moon is in Leo. That puts emotional focus really on your survival. So unless you're on the edge of not surviving, it should not be too dramatic for you. This is a time typically where people connect to their family, get back home, hang around the house, watch those movies again, and just really recharge your emotional batteries. This is an important time, especially if you're a Taurus that's under a lot of stress. Take the time to relax if you can, Taurus. But at the same time, the sun is still promoting us to grow. Fortunately for you, Taurus, this growth is a bit more intellectual and less hazardous or crazy as the last transit you just went through. The sun is well in the Capricorn. And in this first chapter, just like any first chapter, the universe tends to reveal truths around that area. And for Tauruses, these are truths related around your belief matrix. We all have a belief matrix, basically our philosophies, our religions, everything we've ever learned, our higher education. It all adds to this one compounded kind of computer program that we run, but we have total access to rewrite it at any time. Well, in the next day or two, the sun is really promoting for Tauruses to understand some truth or some denial that they had about this matrix. This is the very beginning of a very long transit, by the way. Now the good news is Jupiter is right alongside that sun right now. So you're going to find Tauruses that as soon as you understand an issue, there are resources immediately for you to either, either to learn more or to change it. So it's really not bad. It's just a matter of how quickly you can get through it. I do have some good news on top of that though. Saturn is really pointing to a retrograde. It's in retrograde, has been for a few days. That means that we're getting a rest. Now for you Tauruses, Saturn was putting pressure on you to really get in touch with your inner child, to express your inner child. A lot of Tauruses are out there trying to do their art and they were doing it furiously. Well, with Saturn retrograde, it doesn't mean your artist's inner self will go backwards. It just means that there won't be any new lessons for a while. Now we go back and we learn and we look over what we've already been introduced to, basically. And that is for probably about six months. All right, Taurus, that's all I have for the day. See you tomorrow with more Soul Horoscopes. Live, love, be. Soul.